enters the ring here in Norfolk, Virginia. More reminiscent of Julius Caesar entering Rome <laughs> than a boxer entering the ring, Alex. Well, maybe just a gladiator. For now, Sweet P. Whitaker. He is the franchise here in Norfolk. Jose Luis Ramirez today fighting his 110th professional fight. Right now, let's go up to the ring, and there's announcer Bruce Rader. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Bruce Rader. Welcome to the scope in Norfolk for the rematch. Our referee today, Mr. Chris Woolison. Our judges from London, England, Sid Nathan and Larry O'Connell, and from Puerto Rico, Miguel Donate. This is a main events monitor production. A 12 round of boxing for the world lightweight championship. And now introducing the principals fighting out of the red corner from Cuyacan, Mexico. He has an outstanding record of 102 wins, 82 by way of knockout with only seven defeats. He weighed in at 134 pounds and will be wearing the red trunks with the white trim. Let's welcome to Norfolk the former two-time world lightweight champion, Jose Luis Ramirez. Representing his hometown of Norfolk, Virginia, he has 18 wins in 19 professional bouts. He weighed in at 134 and three-quarter pounds and is wearing the black trunks with the gold trim. Introducing the former Olympic gold medalist and Norfolk zone, Pernell Suipi Whitaker. the judges that will handle the fight here this afternoon and let's go to the tail of the tape now if we could and of course I think the number that sticks out here as Alex mentioned early Ramirez at 30 years of age but really a very old 30 with those 109 professional bouts the rules for today's fight will be the WBC rules scoring is on the 10 point must system no three knockdown rule no standing eight and a fighter can be saved by the bell but only in the final round on the left wearing the black trunks Pernell Whitaker on the right Jose Luis Ramirez wearing the red with the white trim Chris Wallison our referee here today and the fighters get their instruction I'm waiting for the signal gentlemen you've been given your pre-fight instructions I expect you to obey my commands at all times Above all else, protect yourselves at all times. Shake hands. Good luck. Second down. Let's and Alex, down. Whitaker's people, the people of Norfolk, but especially Pernell Whitaker, have waited for this moment for a long time. And you saw George Benton, the main, the man right there uh, with his elbow on the rope there in the center of your screen. George Benton, the last thing he said to him when we looked at him was, keep your hands up. Okay. Okay. The Ramirez main weapon okay. is power. When you have... Purnell's speed of hand and feet. He can dance circles around him early. It's a matter of feet if he can sustain it. And something you don't see very often, two southpaws fighting one another. It was not that often you see one southpaw in a fight, much less two. Well, in the old days, you never, you know, it was really difficult for southpaws to get fights, and you never saw two of them. This is really almost uh, started out in the 1960s, and, and in the 80s, it really is not that uncommon. Pernell Whitaker in the first bout with Ramirez fought going backwards, gave a lot of ground, thought that was a mistake, changed his style for both Greg Haugen and Louis Lamelli, and you see Whitaker now staying right in the center of the ring and landing a couple solid blows on Ramirez. Jose Luis Ramirez has been vulnerable early. When he's been hurt, generally it has been early. And a good right jab there from Whitaker scores again. Whitaker. 
Whitaker Whitaker giving no ground staying right in the middle of the ring a low blow from Whitaker <laughs> the left came in and clearly under the belt again the jab of Whitaker seems to be getting over Ramirez's glove that Jose Luis Ramirez is a target that can also hit back. The difference between these two fighters, Dan, is that Purnell says, I think defense first. I make sure I can't be hit, then I let my hands go. Jose Luis Ramirez disdains defense. He's always looking to hit you on the chin. If he has to get hit in return, so be it. Right now, he is getting hit, and he's getting hit with good, sharp punches from Purnell Whitaker. Rosario, I mean you mentioned Ramirez rather, I was going to bring up the slow start he got off to against Rosario where he was knocked down in the first round and came back to win it. But look at Whitaker, you saw the head of Ramirez snap back. Oh, now oh, something's wrong, he got butted. Brunel is complaining about a butt high in his forehead, there is no cut. But actually it was Whitaker that went in. Right. It was Whitaker that went in with a shot to the body that caused the butt. What's the bother him? He's right back to business, though. Pernell Whitaker, clearly, clearly in command in round number one. You know, there are a lot of places where you can look for an auto part. But here is where you'll find it. Napa, we've got your part. In fact, we have more than 125,000 parts available. Napa has parts for imports and other hard-to-find parts and at the right prices. So don't waste time looking anyplace else. Come to Napa first. We've got your part. Blazing a trail through Logan Pass, Montana and the great taste of old Milwaukee beer. There's nothing like the flavor of a special place and old Milwaukee beer. It just doesn't get any better than this. I use pressure-treated lumber and still have expensive water damage. Why? Even treated wood needs Thompson's water seal. It penetrates to protect wood, brick, and concrete from water damage. Thompson's the first name in lasting protection. On the top left of your screen, take a look at the butt. Whitaker moving in with his head there. It was not Ramirez's fault, but Purnell took the beating on the butt. It opened no cut. It was a glancing blow, but the way Whitaker originally backed out of there, we thought it was a lot more than that. This is the opening action in uh, round number two from the scope in Norfolk. For the IBF and the WBC lightweight titles, and Pernell Whitaker in total command of round number one. George Benton, his trainer, was right to the point that just keep doing what you're doing, Pernell. He can't touch you. And he said all night long, and I think that really is the key to the fight. If Purnell can continue to maintain this and not let fatigue make him lead him into mistakes, you know, I think he's just an easy winner. Another left scored from Whitaker. He set it up with a right to the body. Sometimes when you're hitting an opponent this easily, you tend to lose your concentration. You might get a little lazy, you might be tempted to uh, make a mistake. And uh, Pernell Whitaker cannot let that happen. There, there, the feet got tangled up. That's not going to be a knockdown. That's a slip. You saw Vander Holyfield, Mark Breeland. They're in the insert. Mildred Taylor here as well. All of them escorting Pernell Whitaker into the ring. There, for the first time, uh, Ramirez backed Whitaker up uh, with a flurry, and Pete came right back. You think you say Pete, that's uh, Pernell Whitaker's nickname, known by everybody who knows it as Pete. The jab didn't score, but the left from Whitaker really rocked Ramirez. And Ramirez with his gloves at a level where Whitaker's getting right over the top of it. A pair of jabs just score easily. 
In the first fight, it was the movement by Whitaker that confused Ramirez. Right now, it's the speed and the punching from Angle. Well, Alex, this is the third time that we've seen Pernell Whitaker this year. And the way he started off just is asserting to our viewers what you and I have known for a long time. Pernell Whitaker, one of the top five fighters in the world, in my estimation. Well, these are the kind of tests he must pass to really, you know, he told us, that, Dan, that he doesn't really think about that kind of a thing. But obviously, all of us are. We're trying to assess how great this kid can be. And uh, Ramirez is, is a good test for him to see, you know, if he can fight this kind of a style, an aggressive, more aggressive style for him, and not get hit. Well, it's Jose Luis Ramirez just eating rights and lefts from Pernell Whitaker. Round number two, very reminiscent of the first round. And that means one thing to the delight of the people here at the Scope in Norfolk, it's all Pernell Whitaker. When you buy a Supercolor TV antenna from Radio Shack for just $24.88, you'll get terrific reception instead of interception. It's easy to install, and the Supercolor computer-designed antenna gives you pictures and sound so real. Hey, Stoba, what do we do now? Red right, 16 wide post on one. It could make all the difference in the game. Come on. There's a man open. And touchdown! The Supercolor TV antenna, just $24.88, only at Radio Shack, the technology store. Stoba called the perfect play. Most men won't even discuss it with their wives, but when they start losing their hair, they talk about it with me. I say, don't waste your time with those miracle formulas. The Food and Drug Administration says there's no proof that they grow hair. The thing to do is to see a doctor. Doctors have the only treatment programs that are proven to work. Men listen because they know I'm making sense. After all, I'm a doctor. Only your doctor has treatment programs that work. So see your doctor or call this toll-free number. Action early here in round number three in Norfolk, Virginia. Dan Deardorff, Alex Wallow with you. Pernell Whitaker and Jose Luis Ramirez. And Whitaker, Alex, just couldn't do anything much better than he's doing. And that's what George Benton told him in the corner. He beat him with one word, perfect. Uh, in the Ramirez corner, they're telling him to go to the body. Uh, and he should go to the body, but that was more important in the first fight when Whitaker was moving so much. Uh, to take the movement away. Right now, you know, Pete's movement has been mainly forward. Ooh, low oh, blow another again. low blow by Whitaker. It's his second one so far, and Chris Wallace and the referee hasn't said anything to him yet. Ramirez doesn't appear to have been damaged outwardly by what's happening so far. And there's no the thing about Jose Luis Ramirez is he hasn't been damaged by 106 professional fights. I mean, he's virtually unmarked. Oh, look at the hand speed by Whitaker, a four-punch combination, all scoring. And Ramirez can't even get back in time. This fight is scheduled for 12. This is the third round. Approaching the halfway mark of round number three. And Ramirez, Alex Wallow, is going to have to shift gears in a hurry. Or well, hope that uh, Pernell Winter strips his gears. I don't know that I would count on that if I was Ramirez. The one thing you always look for with Purnell when you've had two broken left hands is, is he using the left hand? So far he is, and using it to great effect. The right jab, I think really, as you see there, doubling with it, has been the, the punch that everything has worked off of. Whitaker really has one of the outstanding jabs in boxing. Again, look at Whitaker's ability to throw combination. The superb hand speed. Of course, I remember the hand speed Terry Norris told us uh, yeah. a couple of weeks ago, and then Julian Jackson drops the bomb. Exactly. I made a note. When we were conceding the fight to Whitaker in the last round, I wrote a note to myself, Terry Norris, because Terry Norris totally dominated Julian Jackson, as you say, in round two, the, the boom was, lo was lowered on him. Right now, you have to land the boom. That right from Whitaker got in. And right now, Jose Luis Ramirez is looking a thoroughly frustrated fighter. He must have prayed, Jose Luis Ramirez, in his training that Pernell Whitaker wouldn't run as much as the movement bothered him, uh, Jose so much in the first fight. Pernell's just standing right there, but Jose can't hit him. Just enough movement to stay out of trouble. And enough punches of his own to keep Ramirez in trouble. 
like the first two, not much change in the third. Petunias and Agapanthus? Agapanthus? what? Want to know any more? Ask Ace. That's what I do. Ace Boston Hornets rare home fogger, 169 inch. Ace waterproofing sealer is just 649 a gallon. Hey, Ace is the place for me. Over its life, a motorcraft battery delivers enough energy to light up a small park, like Candlestick Park. Shouldn't you install that peace of mind? Motorcraft quality parts from Ford. Here we go into the fourth round, and George Benton, who ought to know, told Pernell Whitaker in between rounds, Ray Robinson couldn't do it any better than this. Some compliment. Uh, George, a little carried away, but <laughs> <laughs> you have to indulge him in this instance. Jose Luis Ramirez has not yet landed what you would call a meaningful blow in this fight. And the combinations of Pernell Whitaker are just getting through easily. The hand speed right now appears to be more than Ramirez can handle. There is Ravondo Whitaker, Pernell's wife. They have a pair of sons as well, Dominique and Pernell. And she doesn't look to be the least bit concerned, and no wonder. She's paying close attention to what's happening. Pernell Whitaker with the jab, then follows with the left, that again gets through and rocks Ramirez. Again, a right hand low by Pete Whitaker, Pernell Whitaker. And another one. Well, the natural tendency, Dan, is to compare Whitaker Whitaker's performance against Jose Luis Ramirez with that of Julio Cesar Chavez. Wow. Uh, Ramirez and Chavez fought last year, and uh, I, I must say, this may not be the same Ramirez that fought Chavez, especially given the loss of Ramon Felix, which we talked about earlier, but Ramirez is much more dominant. I mean, I'm sorry, Whitaker is much more dominant than Chavez was against Ramirez. We'd like to alert our ABC stations that at the conclusion of this round that we'll be taking a station break Whitaker, Alex, throwing lots of combinations, lots of low blows as well. It's, it's not an intentional thing, but he's landed at least four or five low blows that I've seen. And Chris Wallison, the referee, hasn't even one begun. warning. Yeah, yeah, one warning. Oh, another another, another right there. I mean, Ramirez is going to have a legitimate beef if this is allowed to continue. does not appear, we must say, it does not appear to be a factor in the fight. I mean, you could throw out all those low blows. They no. aren't helping Jose Luis. No, Ramirez. no, but it's there. Ramirez question. backs Whitaker up and forces him into some movement. It's just a question of what's right is right, right and what's wrong Absolutely. is wrong. Now, what Ramirez can't handle is the hand speed. And the angle. And the fact that Purnell moves his head well, moves his upper body well. Even when he's standing right there that close, Ramirez just can't land anything. Oh, an uppercut. He landed a right uppercut that time. Very, very frustrating for Jose Luis Ramirez. That's because through four rounds, football liquor professional boxing will continue after this word from our ABC state. It's Salem Furniture's sizzling summer sale. Save 30 to 50% on famous brand living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, bedding, dinettes, and much more. Plus, buy now, save now, and make no monthly payments till January. Salem guarantees you the lowest prices in town or get double the price difference. It's going on this week. Salem Furniture's sizzling summer sale with huge savings of 30 to 50% at all seven stores. Bailey's Crossroads, Sterling, Silver Spring, Rockville, Mount Airy, Waldorf, and Camp Springs. Don't miss it. When your body says, uh-uh, mentholatum says, yes, you can. Mentholatum deep heating works like a penetrating massage to help you get going. Mentholatum deep heating says, yes, you can. MediQuick is the quickest way I know to treat minor cuts, scrapes, and scratches. 
MediQuick protects against infection and helps heal the hurt. And for extra protection, MediQuick antibiotic ointment. The fifth round underway here at the Scope in Norfolk, Virginia. The first four rounds being totally dominated by Pernell Whitaker, but we'd really be remiss if we didn't mention the fact that Jose Luis Ramirez is also trying to battle through the loss of his best friend, his father figure, his trainer, and his manager just two weeks ago when Ramon Felix drowned at their training facility near Casablanca. And Alex, that has to have an effect. Ramirez just looking totally frustrated and out of it. You see the, uh, the black bow on the right hip of Jose Luis Ramirez. It's very difficult to really tell whether this is, I mean, this is a great Whitaker, and it's difficult to know how much this is great Whitaker and how much it's bad Jose Luis Ramirez. Oh, yeah. Well, there's no way that you could detract from Whitaker's performance. Uh, that's not possible. He looks the same as he looked against Greg Haugen, against Louis Lamelli. It's a new Pernell Whitaker in the middle of the ring. And right now, another low blow, but still, scoring combinations from Pernell Whitaker. You saw the heart of Ramirez firing back at the end of that combination. Whatever he has, he's going to give. At this stage, it's just not even close to being enough. Wild left from Ramirez misses. A little bit closer, I think, Dan, than some of the early misses. And that's really Ramirez's only hope. His corner told him between rounds, where's that jab, Lou Gulick? Might have heard him in the background. And there you see, there the jab is. Just eating Whitaker's jab. Not even getting a glove up to defend himself. Now, that's either poor defense or he's not afraid of the jab, one or the other. Or he doesn't, you know, yeah, I think it's just mainly he just can't get out of the way of it. number five. I was saying the Ramirez corner told their man between rounds really the only hope that they can give him, and that is that Whitaker's breathing through his mouth, he's tired. Probably wishful thinking, probably trying to keep their fighter as much in the fight as they can. And you see him fighting back. Ooh, oh, inside left by Whitaker. Brunel Whitaker has thrown Boku punches so far in this fight. You see the mouth hanging open a little bit, and Whitaker breaking exchanges now and getting a little more distance and buying a little more time, Alex. Right. When he breaks, he's turning his back and walking to the other side of the ring. Carrying his hands a little bit lower when he does move away, too. But taking a little time off, sign of a smart fighter. This is the end of the fifth round. Stop! I said I got dirty an awful lot when I was little. What am I doing here? You know this. You're playing baseball. Yeah, that's right. It came natural to get dirty. Johnson's baby shampoo has been great for my hair all through my life. It's strong. It makes my hair look clean. It makes my hair feel clean, and uh, it's gentle. Look at this kid's hair. I think it looks good. <laughs> Johnson's baby shampoo. Now also with conditioners for extra control. I shower four or five times a day. It's never made me cry. Johnson's for the life of your hair. Land sailing on the dry lakes of Black Rock, Nevada, and the great taste of old Milwaukee beer. There's nothing like the flavor of a special place in old Milwaukee beer. It doesn't get any better than this. How do you keep a major city running smoothly? Atlanta does it with Quaker State Motor Oil. In every fire truck, every police car, every Atlanta city-owned vehicle. The big Q stands for quality. Whitaker Ramirez touch gloves to get the sixth round started. No question, a tremendous amount of respect that these two have for one another. Pernell Whitaker has a historical sense of what's happened before him, and certainly in the lightweight division, Jose Luis Ramirez is a figure to be admired and respected. Yeah, he's earned it. With this being Whitaker's 20th fight, I thought of fighting another 90 to catch up with Ramirez somehow must seem very foreign to Pernell Whitaker. The combination 
A five punch combination that time by Pernell Whitaker. Again, a good look how Whitaker is turning his shoulder and walking away. He's getting, uh, the Mariners is able, he's getting a little bit closer now, Dan. I mean, maybe we're just uh, kidding ourselves and looking to make this thing competitive, and it isn't. I mean, it's been a total shutout so far through five rounds. I mean, if there's any one of these judges who has any of these rounds, even or for Ramirez, they should lose their license immediately and walk home. Oh, I agree. The Another low blow. blow. Ooh, a pair of uppercuts by Whitaker. Neither one of them really landed solidly, but they both got through. Now again, we must remind you that even though Whitaker is having target practice with Ramirez, Ramirez doesn't show any outward signs of the beating that he's taking. And, that, and that's really remarkable and a testament to his determination. And I mean, I know Pernell Whitaker, another low blow by Whitaker, I know Pernell Whitaker is wondering, you know, uh, about his own punching power. I mean, here this guy has absorbed enough punches for three fights through five rounds. Well, no one can ever question the chin of Ramirez, although Whitaker tried with those pair of flicking jabs of short. Keep in mind, he has been knocked down, but Ramirez has never been knocked out. Has never been knocked out. Never taken a 10 count. Extraordinary. The key for Pernell Whitaker right now is to remain patient. He's winning this fight, we must assume, handily on the scorecard. And he might be coming frustrated and not really doing any more damage, Alex, but to get reckless would be a mistake. Right. I, I think also a key is for him to make sure he paces himself and, and keeps his energy level up. Oh, yeah. and a, a really, really solid left from Whitaker. We're going to stay between rounds. This fight is scheduled for 12. The bell will be the end of round six, and we'll keep it here. Not even breathing hard. I mean, as Fernell walks back to the corner, let's listen. It's so beautiful out there. I damn, that, man, you're doing it to death. That's, that's perfect. Just keep doing what you're doing. Look, don't get careless. Don't get in no exchange with him. Don't let him suck in or nothing. Do just what you're doing, right? That's the best boxing exhibition that I've seen. He's putting a hell of a show on. Robinson couldn't do as good as his baby. They don't believe it. Ray Robinson couldn't do as good as his baby. You're now, beautiful you out there. Doing. Don't even worry about knocking the guy out. You know, I like this better. You know what I'm saying? Look. I don't know what the hell the referee's brave. That's a brave referee. He's letting this guy go. He should have stopped this fight a year ago. Right up there. But uh, just keep, keep, keep doing what you're doing. Take, take a look at one of the uh, many low blows we talked about during this fight. Brunel Whitaker backing up and steps in there to the left hip of uh, Ramirez. And there was no warning coming back that time from the referee. We listened to Lou Duva and George Benton lead the Brunel Whitaker cheering society in the corner and they're right they don't have anything constructive to add other than you heard Benton say don't get careless the uh, Ramirez corner the most constructive thing they could come up with was step on his foot then hit him with your right <laughs> which Good. is an actual bit of strategy that was given to him in the corner a lunging combination by Ramirez didn't even come close that's not going to be a knockdown he pushed him down you saw Whitaker's hand on the back of the head of Ramirez I guess that evens it up. Both fighters have been down on the canvas once, but neither one was a knockdown. Looking on, the junior welterweight champion, according to the idea of the world, Melvin Taylor, and some people think, ooh, he's reacting to Mark Freeland in the picture as well. Members of the class of 1984 Olympians, that have produced uh, really some outstanding fighters. A lot of people, got longer the Vander Holyfield here, who's here as well. A lot of people think that uh, Whitaker and Melvin Taylor would be one of the outstanding matchups that could be made. They're only separated by one weight division. Although I no, think it'll be a long time before it happens. And I think to, to make friends as good as those two fights, there have to be an awful lot of money on the line. I couldn't agree more. And what we'll probably see before that would be Meldrick Taylor and Julio Cesar Chavez which is the one that uh, is supposed to happen early next year and the one that I'm really looking forward to. I'd like to see that my way. The other fight that... Uh, Pernell Whitaker <laughs> hot-dogging a little bit. A little bit of you oh. can't hit me, but I'll hit you. And he just got hit with a right hook. What I was trying to make was the other fight that involves uh, Pernell Whitaker, 
is uh, a fight with 130 pound champion and one of the top names in boxing, Azuma Nelson, who says he's going to move up and challenge Cornell. And that fight is scheduled for early next year as well. We've moved inside the final minute of the seventh round. Jose Luis Ramirez just keeps pressing on. The results are the same. He's getting tagged in combination. But really doesn't look much different than he did in the first or the second round. He did land a right hook, as we said earlier this round. <laughs> well, that's called wanting your cake and eating it too. That's right. Pernell Whitaker, who's bombed Ramirez with at least 10 low blows, backs up with an how dare you do that to me look on his face. What are you thinking of, Jose? <laughs> And he got a warning from the referee to Ramirez. Huh. A lot of upper body movement by Whitaker rather than leg movement. To avoid the blows, comes back with combination and scores. End of seven and nothing's changed. At Vic, we've been studying all the ways that you pull and stretch your face in search of a better shave. Now, Bic presents our solution, introducing the new Bic Metal Shaver. The patented Bic Metal stretches and smooths your skin thanks to its unique metal guard bar, so the shaver glides closely and comfortably. Now, instead of stretching, start reaching for a new Bic Metal Shaver. It stretches your skin for a great new shave. And that's no stretch. Now, Total Raisin Bran is no longer the most nutritious. It's new Kellogg's Nutrigrain Raisin Bran. With more vitamins and minerals, the one with the most nutrition is Nutrigrain. The lights on these cars are running on battery power alone. And in the end, only one, a car with a new die-hard battery, our most powerful ever, is able to start. Great low prices every day, die-hard power. That's your money's worth and a whole lot more. We're at it in the eighth round at the Scope in Norfolk, Virginia. This bout is for the WBC and the IBF lightweight title. Whitaker in the black, Ramirez in the red and the white. I'm Dan Deardorff, Alex Wallow is alongside, and we have been watching quite a display by Pernell Whitaker. As he has just dominated Jose Luis Ramirez from the opening bell. I thought in the last round that Ramirez got a little bit closer with some power punches. And in the corner, George Benton and Luke Dugan said, don't get careless. Don't get into exchanges. And there you see Ramirez picking it up a little bit. There. Whitaker making a move that generally had Ramirez missing badly. That time he scored. It wasn't a hard punch. Didn't do any damage, but it did score. Whitaker that time tried to counter. He missed with it. So you see uh, Ace Murata, the cut man for Pernell Whitaker on the left, Lou Duba there in the white hair, George Benton you can't see in your picture. On the other side, Lou Duba really uh, says uh, that he's the cheerleader, and you hear him cheering. There's George Benton, he's the tactician, the man is much quieter, much less uh, media savvy, but uh, George Benton really is the man who prepares the tactics and prepares the skills. And Benton was a great Philadelphia fighter in his own respect, wasn't he, Alex? Now it's Pernell Whitaker doing a more of a backward movement. He's playing some of his earlier styles, but who a good counter combination by Whitaker. Ramirez being a little more aggressive, a little more open when he's coming in, having to take some chances as we're in the eighth round. Even the punches that Jose has landed have not yet, not yet been hard ones. The reasons are twofold. The, the Whitaker movement keeps Ramirez from getting set and getting leverage on his punches, and Whitaker counter punches so well that Jose just doesn't want to commit to the punches because he knows he's going to get wrapped coming right back. Well, Ramirez, when you've been a pro for 16 years, as he has, he knows when he's reached the point in the fight where he needs a knockout to win. And Jose Luis Ramirez certainly knows he's at that point now. And it's pretty early to be talking that way, but I just cannot imagine he either needs a knockout or some two and three point rounds. I mean, we're only in round eight, but he's got to be behind uh, at least 10, nine, one point rounds on every scorecard. Finally, another warning from Chris Wallison to Pernell Whitaker to get the punches up. 
after another low blow. This is the end of round eight. My athlete's foot kept flaring up. I'd put it out, and it'd just flare up again. Then my doctor told me about Tenactin. It cures recurring athlete's foot. Use it regularly, and it'll keep the fire from coming back. Tenactin puts the fire out for good. I don't ask why, and I don't ask how, because I already know where. Right here. A nine-ounce can of Ace Luby Lubricant is only 88 cents, and a twin pack of combination locks is just 444. Hey, Ace is the place for me. Here we are, the beginning of the ninth round. Our Schlitz Malt Liquor Professional Boxing Series, our finale of the year. The much-awaited rematch between these two. They fought last year, March of 1988. Ramirez winning a very controversial decision. I think that option has been removed here today in Virginia. Pernell Whitaker, if you're just joining us from the beginning, has totally dominated Ramirez on our scorecard here at ringside, our unofficial scorecard. He's pitching a shutout. There are not too many fighters in the world who would not be discouraged by the beating they've taken outside of a Jose Luis Ramirez. The fact that he's still trying in the face of everything he's been through with the death of his trainer and manager just a couple of weeks ago. And everything he's been through in the ring today is just a testament to what we said about him at the top. He is a consummate professional. I can't get over Alex. How facially he just doesn't show any swelling, doesn't have any abrasion. I mean, what is his skin made of? I mean, uh, to absorb the beating that he has taken from Pernell Whitaker today and look as good as he looks, I find just unbelievable. And I guarantee you, Pernell does too. You see it in his face. What do I have to do? And that's what he has been doing all fight long, scoring in combination. A pair of southpaws fighting one another. You'd think that they might be the only type of fighter that knows how to deal with a southpaw, but keep in mind, that every time they step in the ring, virtually every time, they fight a right hand. Oh, and what a left by Whitaker. Let's see what that did to his left hand. Let's see if his hand stood up to that test. He hasn't thrown too many straight lefts. Not that he's bathing it. I don't think he needs it. But he has broken it twice. Let's see if he comes back with it. Let's, because that was the kind of punch where he could re-injure it. I don't want to, I don't want to jinx him. <laughs> no, but you've got to bring it up. He has broken his hand, his left hand, twice before. Generally, he does, he has heard it when it's been an awkward angle, and that was a left hand right down the pipe. He's using it. Slap with it then, but he's using it. Generally, when Pete has hurt his hand, when he isn't bathing it, he's using it to the body where it doesn't uh, hurt as much. That time he tried a number of punches to the head. Again, a reminder, this fight is scheduled to go 12. A pair of titles, WBC, IBF, looking like they might land in Whitaker's corner. I've made up my mind. I'm going to do it. Why shouldn't I? I'm the one who has to look at myself in the mirror every morning. So before I lose another hair, I'm going to the doctor. I know doctors have treatment programs that are proven to work. More guys are trying them every day. I'm not bad now, but I wouldn't mind looking better. Your doctor can really do something about hair loss. So see your doctor or call this toll-free number. A Motorcraft spark plug has to fire 500 times a minute. Over its life, that's a spark five miles long. Shouldn't you install that peace of mind? Motorcraft quality parts from Ford. Fancy perfuming aftershave. 
It's got to be a quarterback's locker. Real guys who get mud on their uniforms use rugged, honest stuff. Ice blue aqua velva. There's something about today's aqua velva, man. So you still think lame and are dumb? We're underway in the 10th. Oh, and Jose Luis Ramirez coming right out of his corner. I don't know what the Purnell's reaction was all about there. I don't know that you could be human and not be a little frustrated if you're Whitaker, who has just landed virtually every punch he has on Ramirez and hasn't had much of an effect. He's still got him in his face. Other than two, I'm almost one million percent positive swayed the judges' scorecard. Ramirez using three straight jabs there. He has to know he needs a knockout to win, but he also knows Whitaker is just too good to go in and land one isolated left hand. He's got to set it up with something if he's going to score a knockout punch. Is this the time for Whitaker to take a round off? Well, it depends on how he feels. Uh, he can take some time off the clock if he feels himself fading. Oh, and a good left. That was a solid left from Whitaker snapping Ramirez's head. You see all the grease on uh, Whitaker's face. A lump on the right, his right cheekbone isn't close enough to the eye to present a problem. This is more than Cornell Whitaker for the first fight. Giving ground, backing up, scoring his punches, and getting out. Only five years in age separate these two fighters, but 90 professional bouts separate them. Ramirez turning pro at the age of 14. And right now showing it. See where can get that left hand up. The Ramirez right hook came in so just very subtly. So natural. A couple of Ramirez jabs are getting in, but they're really not landing with a great deal of authority. Whether that's instinctive uh, defensive action by Whitaker, it's something he's worked hard on and learned in the gym, and it's probably a combination of both. You saw it there. He tucks that left hand right in there. Whenever his man gets in, in range to land that right hook, that left comes right up to protect the chin. Cornell Whitaker here in the tenth, fighting as if he's got one eye on the clock. Another day at the office for the extremely talented Cornell Whitaker. Road Handler Treadlocks. Test them for 1,000 miles. If you don't agree, they're the toughest tires you've ever owned. Sears will buy them back. Great low prices every day. Road Handler Tough. That's your money's worth and a whole lot more. I didn't always look like this. It took a lot of work and a lot of help from this one-calorie diet A&W root beer. Now I look so good I have a blind date with a Hollywood star. Hi. For yourself a diet A&W. When you buy a Supercolor TV antenna from Radio Shack for just $24.88, you'll get terrific reception instead of interception. It's easy to install, and the Supercolor computer-designed antenna gives you pictures and sounds so real... Hey, Starbuck, what do we do now? That's right, 16-Y post on one. It could make all the difference in the game. Come on. There's a man open. And touchdown! The Supercolor TV antenna, just $24.88, only at Radio Shack. The technology store. Starbuck called the perfect play. Let's get it on in the 11th round. It's only scheduled for one more, scheduled for 12. Pernell Whitaker is the IBF lightweight champion. They're fighting for the vacant WBC title as well, vacated when Julio Cesar Chavez moved up. And there can't be any question that right now the only thing for Ramirez is a prayer and a knockout. A lot of prayers. You just, uh, Landed a right to Cornell Whitaker's chin. Cornell saw a look of disgust on his face that he got hit with that punch. Didn't have much effect. Again, the right gets home, but on Whitaker from Ramirez, but not much effect. Certainly not enough. 
to Purnell attempting to load up on a couple. And that is something that his corner does not want him to do. There is no need for it. His pride may be at stake here, but there's no reason to take that chance and load up. And that's exactly what he did on that combination as well. Right now, Whitaker adopting the stance more of a headhunter than anything else. I mean, it's possible that Purnell is saying to himself, hey, you know, I thought I won the first fight too and they stole it from me. I, I got to knock him out to uh, to make sure there's no decision so they can't rob me again. But it's tough to score when you're fighting, but I think Purnell has to know that he's won virtually every round on every score card. Well, the way Ramirez has absorbed his blows, Alex, you wonder if Whitaker didn't go back to his corner and look at his gloves, wondering if they were filled with tissue paper. We'd like to alert our ABC stations that at the conclusion of this round, we're going to take a station break. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's not that he can't stand to watch. He's just he's tired of watching the same thing. <laughs> Burnell Jr. Acting like it's another day at the office for his dad. Oh, and Whitaker on the clutch throwing a couple blows. That was all right. I mean, that was not a foul, even though they touched gloves uh, to acknowledge that uh, it was, but there was no break call by the official there. The crowd begins to chant, Pete, Pete. Once again, another low blow by Whitaker. Once again, there is a warning. Well, that's the third warning we've counted. Could have cost in another half a dozen or so. Whitaker's hands way down too far. Now for the first time in the fight, he's pinned in the corner, clowning and showboating, and runs away with his back turned. <laughs> Split small liquor, professional boxing will continue after this word from our ABC station. Afternoons are changing on Channel 7. I know it's not September 5th yet, but I just wanted to, to welcome you to Channel 7. Oh, thank you, Paul. Listen, it's not every day that Washington's favorite talk show makes such a big move, so we just want to make sure that you feel right at home at 4 o'clock here on Channel 7. Well, I'm excited for you, too, Paul, because at 5, there's going to be a new kind of newscast. It's about the people who make Washington's news. It's called In Person with Paul Berry. Mm -hmm. Join us for the Oprah Winfrey Show. And In Person, September 5th. It's a story full of action and violence and heroism and more. But for years, this was the one subject that Hollywood thought was too hot to handle. Now Entertainment This Week investigates our sudden fascination with Vietnam. This is nuts. You'll see how a new generation is learning about the war and everything from TV shows and home videos to major motion pictures. How'd Vietnam go from taboo topic to movie marquee? The inside stories on Entertainment This Week. Sunday night at 11.30 on Channel 7. We've just gotten started here in the 12th round. Cornell Whitaker comes out of his corner to a standing ovation by the crowd here in Norfolk. He is the franchise of this city. No professional football, no professional basketball, no hockey team. Cornell Sweet P. Whitaker is Norfolk, Hampton Road, Virginia on the professional scene. This is the 12th and final round for the WBC and the IBF lightweight title. And Pernell Whitaker couldn't be in more control. of a very confident champion, Alex. Jose Luis Ramirez, who said at the top, the consummate professional who would give everything he had. I think he's done that as he has to ooh. There. Caught Whitaker with a few punches again. Whitaker in the corner. And attempting to put Whitaker back into the corner with a forearm, but Pernell Whitaker gets out much to the delight of the crowd. Yeah. 
We move inside the final minute of this fight. Our scorecard at ringside. 11 matching 10 nines, all in favor of Whitaker. Talk about total confidence. Just then, Whitaker gestured over to his corner. They're yelling at him to jab, and he just said, it's all right, it's all right, I'm in control, I'm all right. So the star of Cornell Whitaker continues to rise. He continues to lay claim, Dan, to his role, uh, to his position as one of the best fighters pound for pound in the world in any division. For Jose Luis Ramirez, this could well be the fight that he decides after the longest career of boxing today to let it go, to pack it in, to say, I've had my time, my time is over, and thank you very much. The crowd comes to their feet at the Scorp Scope in Norfolk. When we come back, we'll have the decision, plus we'll have George Foreman and Ron Lyle from 1976. Sweet pig. If you don't like the looks of your car, shoot the son of a gun from STP. Shoot the dash, seats, tires, and roof. Son of a gun protector. Man. What a difference. The product. The vehicles. The testing grounds. The results. STP oil treatment is the edge. Beale Street in Old Milwaukee both mean something great to these guys. Beale Street means a blues festival and spicy barbecue Memphis style. And Old Milwaukee means a great beer. Cold, crisp, old Milwaukee beer and smooth, golden old Milwaukee light. There's nothing like the flavor of a special place and old Milwaukee beer. Old Milwaukee and old Milwaukee light. It just doesn't get any better than this. Yeah. All right, right now let's go up to the ring for the decision. We're going to have a temporary delay here as... We don't have the scorecards in yet from all of the judges. Hard to imagine what would take so long to put these together as Pernell Whitaker dominates this fight from the beginning bell to the end. Jose Luis Ramirez. A brilliant 102-7 record coming in. And now let's go up to the ring if we could and ring announcer Bruce Rader. Gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Nathan scores 117 to 111. Judge O'Connor scores 120 to 109. Judge Dante scores 120 to 108. The winner by a unanimous decision. The presenting a check for $1,000 to Society for the Aid of Sickle Cell Anemia, the Norfolk chapter. A reminder, folks, that we will have in just several minutes our interview with Pernell Whitaker. But first, we want to move from the lightweight division, which places a premium on quickness and boxing skill, like that you just saw today from Pernell Whitaker, to the heavyweight division, where the name of the game is power and perhaps no fight in recent heavyweight history saw more power on display from both fighters than the 1976 battle between George Foreman and Ron Lyle. And Alex, this was the kind of